Hello everyone, it's Vin Doom and welcome to this week's video. Um, this week I am going to be doing a painting of two of my original characters that I've had for a very long time, like over 10 years at this point. Um, their names are Carol and Gray and they're very sweet and in love and that's basically their primary character traits uh carol is like very bubbly and naive girl and gray is like a very surly and not happy girl who likes cats and electronics and that's who they are uh, and carol likes flowers it's a very simple characterization and I think that's probably why I like them so much. So here I'm drawing them right now. Uh, lately when I've been drawing, the heads have just been coming out really big. I don't know why, I think it's maybe that I'm drawing like these lanky little bodies lately and so in comparison the heads always just look way too big. Um, for this one I had a really hard time with Grey specifically, I think because her dreads really just add so much more bulk to her head. But I think it looks okay in the end, it looks kind of stylized. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you can notice in my art a lot, I'll draw people wearing crew neck sweaters and then I'll switch it out by the time I actually draw a finish shit because I don't know, I feel like I just draw people wearing crew neck sweaters too often. so. I usually switch it out on last week's painting actually, the hail, the first one that I lined, he had a crew neck sweater on and I actually was going to erase that and turn it into at least a hoodie, but then I forgot to, which is why he did get to keep his crew neck sweater. Um, and gray right here, she had her switched out for a little graphic tee with a cat. And a moon. This is bad cat on it. I'm. You wouldn't think I had a degree in graphic design. That's all that I can say about that. <laughs> Here I am beginning to paint. I actually ended up leaving in a lot more of the mixing portion than I usually do, because I thought that might actually be a little bit interesting. I might still cut out a lot of it. I spend a lot of time just mixing. Um, I know that it technically makes your colors muddier and not as vibrant when you mix watercolors but I kind of like that neutral toned down look so it works out for me and if I like it that's what's important to me. <laughs> Carol's skin right there is way too peach and way too light and I end up going over it again with a color that I mix using the skin tone that I have for gray right here. Um, mixing skin tones can be really frustrating when you don't have any browns or uh, peaches, which is why usually this is when I would pull out my Koi watercolor set, because that one does have a variety of tans and peaches and browns, but for this one, I just really don't want to deal with how chalky those are, so I just decided to mix them, and I actually do like it. Um, I should have done more swatches though because a lot of splotchiness happened largely just because I was putting on lots of layers and troubleshooting a lot. Here I am doing the final cover up layer kind of. Um, I gave Carol that blush because her cheeks were really really patchy and I'm going over all of grays to kind of deepen it and make it a bit more uniform and I think it looks a lot better after this even though it was very hard to find her face later when I go in and color it um yeah see there I am mixing a nice color uh before I used to always do thumbnails and color the thumbnails to check the colors and I still think that's a good idea a better idea than what I have been doing which is I've just been kind of trying to ensure a good color palette by being very limited with what I'm allowed to even use. Uh, generally just by getting rid 
of one of the colors uh, at, such as in this one um, again I only have four paints so I'm just not using the blue at all and I'm not really using the green either except the green that is already in the brown colors that I started out with as well I just use the same palette um, with uh, my palette doesn't have a lot of spaces on it it's just the one two three four five six seven eight nine places and so they fill up pretty quickly and then I try and get all my new colors from mixing within those and I feel like that kind of helps ensure that no matter what the colors are going to work together so I don't have to spend as much time testing them beforehand I, I think this image actually is a pretty good example of it I didn't do a lot of contrasting things um, like I didn't input I didn't add in really any greens or blues or things that wouldn't kind of pop out and I like that actually I think it turned out to make it kind of have a very soft and warm feeling um usually I do go for go for those pops of color that would be contrasting to the rest of it when it was a very uniform palette like this um but for this one it's just the yellows the pinks the reds uh, the browns just a very warm and neutral tone and I I'm really happy with how it turned out um, I don't feel like it is missing anything um, I think that's because I did do a lot better than I have in the past at giving more contrast with the values where I feel like there are a lot more highly contrasted pieces and a lot deeper tones so overall I feel really good with the colors in this piece and how uniform it looks overall. Um, right now at this point in the picture I remember feeling not that great because Carol didn't have a lot of um, more contrasted values in her design. I, I go in later and I darken up her shoes and I give her a more uniform high um, intensity yellow on her jacket which I ended up liking a lot. Looking back I feel like I could have put some pins on her jacket to bring that red in because uh, she didn't have and still doesn't have any of that red in her design and I feel like that's somewhere that I could have added a little bit but that's learning something for next time. Uh, as you can see I a lot of times will be re-putting that yellow down in the palette that's because it gets dirty really quickly when I go to mix it with other colors uh, that time it was a little bit unnecessary though to put it to have to clean out the reservoir because I probably could have just put it in the yellow that was on the bottom because that one wasn't um, that one hasn't been kind of tinted with another color it just was really watered down for me using it on the background uh, which as you can see for the background I didn't use a contrasting color I used the same yellow that I used in the drawing and I really like it it's just very soft and worn it feels like a very romantic drawing and that's exactly what I wanted so I am pretty happy with it and I'm doing a pink shading everywhere which I think looked really nice and warm and cute I'm pretty happy with that as well and then for the line art I'm not going to be using any of the pens that I tried last week and instead I'm using my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils I'm using two different browns for this um, I'll have the exact colors listed in the description um, the darker brown is one that I love to use a lot and I really love using it in combination with this um, lighter brown to give some depth to the lines. I'm not really good at that though. That's something that I really want to work on is knowing where to use each color. Sometimes like I can see it on the piece that it works really well. Um, like there's 
a couple of parts in the skirt that I had put the dark brown and that looked really good and I just put some on the jacket and that looked really good like the contrast between the two of them and it felt very right it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly is the right area to put everything um maybe if I was thinking more about shadows that might help I might try that out next time with this one I was thinking more about the color of what the actual piece being lined looked like out and here is Creedy making an appearance and accidentally ruining my drawing just a little bit I didn't think him sitting there was going to cause a problem but it did anyways I'm just here trying to smudge a little bit more brown on there and I used that area to kind of just make a little falling effect on the leaves and I think it, it looks fine it's not completely noticeable uh, the other pieces on the paper are uh, what happened specifically is that I had like pencil shavings oh, here he is again <laughs> I have pencil shavings on my um, table and he stepped into them and that was when he stepped onto the paper it just got everywhere <laughs> and I didn't realize that was happening that's why I let him sit on it mostly because I was like oh that's cute He's sitting there it's fine say hello and it ended up not being okay And here's the final piece. Thank you so much everyone who's watching this video. I appreciate so much every single view that I get, every single comment, every single interaction, every single like. It means a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Um, I will be back with another video later this week or next week.